You know what's a partisan is? Yeah. Yes. A lot of people became partisans. Hirschka didn't became, become a partisan, but he came back to the ghetto. And one day, he came to myself, my sister, and a fellow who was in charge of this uh, tragedian, Meshka, and said, look, I wrote two poems. We couldn't just come to the room and read the poem. This has to be done very, very secretly. But Hirschka wrote another poem. Zognit came as the gaze to the What is... Beautiful. When Hirschka read it, he didn't have the music for it. And you speak Yiddish, he was silent. Zabnit Kemal, an order, as to gaze the Mletzen Vek. Do you get it? Yeah. He wanted to inspire us so we should fight against the German and we should never lose hope. Hope is a very important thing in life. We listen to the poem. So we, how many of you were listening? There were four of us. There was Hirschka, naturally. There was a fellow who was in charge of the tragedy of Meshke. There was my sister, Bella. I have a twin sister who lives in Australia in Melbourne. <laughs> and myself, four of us. Naturally, uh, we liked the poem very much, and people eventually started to sing it as a hymn, you know. Everybody needed to some kind of spiritual support, something what would help him to survive and fight. And this helped us. He left a legacy. He left something to remember him for. And what is it? The song. The song. The song which you come to sing here. And every time when I hear this song, I remember his ugly. And I get my tears in my eyes. A good friend of mine perished. But he was a hero. Why? What's special about the partisan song? We always sing it, yeah. The song spread, didn't it? Spread. And what did it give people? Hope. Hope. And it was translated in many languages. People in France sing it, in Argentina, in Lithuania, in Russia, in Poland. It's a, such a famous song. And but you were the, one of the first people to hear it. Yeah, I was one of them. I was privileged. That's pretty amazing. So Hirschke Glick had it in his head and then finally wrote it down. And then Philip was one of the first people to hear that song. Well, as a poem. And then they actually found music that is actually a Russian song, yeah. and they matched it because it was a march. What inspired Hirschke to write the song? He was a poet. So naturally, a poet wants to write, like a musician wants to play music, a dancer wants to dance. That was part of his personality. But there was something else. We're living in the ghetto where we never knew how long we will survive, if we will survive at all. So this song gave us the hope, the strength to fight against Germans, to, the strength to live. Because people not only need the strength, you have to eat to be strong, but you need spiritual support. What does it mean, spiritual? Inside, like you need hope for like, in your heart. Yeah, it's something in your heart which helps you. I was told that he was inspired by the events of the Warsaw Ghetto Uprising. Basically, people think so. I personally don't think he never said it. 
<laughs> he was rather inspired by his deeds of this girl. And by the partisans? Yeah, by the partisans. Her name was Kempler. Thank you so much. It's a pleasure. Ashane and Dunkhaif. <laughs>